What's up everybody, it's Butch Impact, and we are up against It's Gator. As you see, this is post-com. I decided not to live-com this because I have people over. And next week, I will also have people over until, unless it's late next week, in which case I'll probably be able to live-com if it's late next week. If I play early next week, I won't be able to do that. Anyways, so... Uh, against Aster and Wolfie, I'll probably be able to live-com those games because... I won't have people over. Spring break will be over, and I'll just I'll just be able to live com everything. So this is Gator. Whoever wins this is likely to be in playoffs. We're both six and two. There's uh, I'm actually not gonna. I actually know the results of everybody else that happened this week, obviously. So I'm actually not gonna do anything about that. But whoever wins this is likely to be in the playoffs because of the records of the other people in our conference. So I have Waterium, Grand, Nihiligo, Scarf, I have Papa Uxie, Bulu that's leftovers, Victini with Wakanberry, and Slurpuff with a grassy seed. So I did not build this team. This team is a creation of Joey. And I didn't want to insult Joey by giving the Victini a Pasho Berry. So I decided to keep the Wakanberry. Like Wakanda Forever, Wakanberry. It's Black Panther was an average movie, but I love the fact that it did so well. Like, uh, Black Panther is so sick. He's so sick, but the movie, as a movie, it was just very average. I love, I mean, obviously my char favorite character, well not obviously, but my favorite character from Black Panther was Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. That dude is fly. Lupita Goyo, I don't know how to say her name, but... She's sick too. She was in the Jungle Book. She was the uh, Mother Wolf. She was sick. But Black Panther has a movie. I don't know, dude. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was. It was all right. Like I enjoyed it, but like it wasn't. It wasn't anything special. Anyways, moving on. Wakanda Berry, and then Grass Seed. So Gators. Gators got this team. Like he's just got five threats and then a Klefki to be able to take on like I don't know one of my Wulu or Grand or something. I don't know. That's why I have Victini, so I can just. Vitini has coverage for everything on his team. Blue Flare, Blue Flare, Glacier, Grass Knot, Focus Blast, Blue Flare, Grass Knot, whatever. So, I'm just gonna move on and get into the battle. I'm gonna lead out with the Greninja because it is my Z move Pokemon. I could just fire off a Z move. If he wants to go Altaria and get hit by an Ice Beam, go ahead, be my guest. So, I do lead out with the Greninja. And I'm going to have my ninjas wet him up. Waterinium, wrist split lies Z move, diamond dead lies Z move. I got all the Z move, Z. Dude, that song is so sick. FCTC, by the way, but that song is so sick. So here I should be able to knock him out with the hydro pump, water Z move. Unless he's Sash, but he's max HP, he max Bidef, assault vest. Like, if he was Sash, he probably wouldn't have a move to Oko me, and he would have just got up a Stealth Rock, or Earthquake me, or whatever. But he's he's literally a Salt Vest, Max HP, Max Videf, so that was, that was wonderful. That, that's, this is, this is, this is ex exactly what I wanted. Just, just a Salt Vest, man, was fine. Not having my life warp thick, just female, high bog, whatever, dude. Grass Knot, like, like I said, Victini just has perfect coverage for his entire team, because Victini is stupid and has literally every move that you could ask for. So I just have perfect coverage for his team. He's going to go out to the Azu here. And I'm going to switch out into my Uxi so that I can get out my rocks. And put a little bit more pressure on his team. And I can take a plus 6 Belly Drum Aqua Jet. And hit him up with a foul play or something. You you feel me? And even if he sets up a Belly Drum, I still have the Bulu to be able to drain and knock him out. But I do know that it is... And also, if he was like a Whirlpool variant, I didn't want to go to Bulu and just get trapped and die. Because my only move to hit it with is Stealth Rock. Actually, let me pause that. So, I do know that it's huge power now, not a Whirlpool Sap Super Variant, which is cool. I set up my Stealth Rock, and the knockoff damage obviously is meant so that it's huge power and smacks attack huge power. It's not banded, because if it was banded and he crit me, I would have died. So, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rock. My Op Poppy's gone. My Poppy. That sucks, dude. He's gonna go for Stealth Rock. I actually went for the U-turn, sacking off my Uxie so that if he wanted to go for an attack, I'd be able to, you know, get off a little bit of damage with the U-turn. And, you know, 
can't no harm no foul you know what i'm saying no harm no foul so i'm gonna go out into v drive once again and hit him up with a focus blast this time it really doesn't i'm always going to attack what's in front of me with my victini because he really has no like i have speed his entire team and he has no coverage i mean it, it has coverage for everything so it really doesn't matter if he switches if i predict switch with this thing because the the pokemon is going to take rocks it's going to take the focus blast and then it's going to also take the super effective hit after i already deal the damage so here i'm just going to go for the glaciate would have been nice to get a spadef drop for once in my life but you know not going to complain about that not going to complain you know you know how it is you know how it is sometimes you get it sometimes you don't you know, you know what I'm saying? anyways this dude goes for i go for glaciate you know lowering his speed of course and this dude, Gator, is like, oh, I'm so smart. I'm going to go for a Jody here and try to go for game. Dude, get out of my game. Get out of my game. You can't, you can't, like, <laughs> nice play, dude. Nice play. You can't even roost because, like, if I Glacier, I too would kill you. So, nice job. But Wakanberry does not really come in handy here because he doesn't have anything on his team with Soak. So, if he had something with Soak and then... If he had an electric move on his team, I don't even know if he has an electric move on his team. But if he had Soak and an electric move, well, Conberry Victini would have been super sick here. But unfortunately, it's not going to be able to do anything because I'm going to just sag it here to this Azu. As he's just going to click the Aqua Jet and be able to knock me out. No big deal. So, I'm going to have a quick quiz for you guys here. I'm going to go out to Joel and Bulu here. My Joel and Bulu has four attacks. Most Pokemon have four attacks. So my four attacks are A, Calm Mind, B, Giga Drain, C, Hidden Power Ground, D, Dazzling Gleam. Now, his remaining Pokemon are Buzzwolf, Azu, Heatran, Klefki. So, my plan here, what is my plan here? Did I click A, Dazzling Gleam, or no, 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 no. Did I click A, Calm Mind, B, Giga Drain, C, Hidden Power Ground, or D, Dazzling Gleam? Keep in mind, he has Heatran, Klefki, Azu, and Buzzwool left on his team. So, I'll give you guys two seconds to write down your answer in the comment section down below. One, two. So, the move that I clicked here was... D. D -d 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 Dazzling Gleam. Why did I click it? Because if he goes out into Heatran, it's not really a good play because if he goes out to Heatran, like I'm a physical Pokemon, I could have the superpower, I could go for sub and be able to, you know, punish you. But if I click Dazzling Gleam and you have the Buzzwool, you know, Zen Headbutt has got a super great defense, you know, it could take, still take the hit. You know, you know what I'm saying? I could have clicked Calm Mind there because if it was a fast Buzzwool, it could hit me up with a 1-2 jab, the Poison Jab. And... It would have been it would have been awful if he was like max speed with poison jab. Which is likely. You want to be able to speed me and be able to knock me out. Anyway, so he goes for flamethrower and like get just knock like max speed, heatran, whatever. I knew he was yeah, I knew he was fast because he has sped my Uxie and my Uxie is 95 base speed. And my Bulu barely outspeeds my Uxie, unfortunately, because I'm modest max special attack. <sighs> Anyways, gotta go out to Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy's gonna be able to win me this game. Because I have the Grassy Seed here, and I'm going to be able to take two Flamethrowers and be able to 2-it kill him. Because I know that he's a fast Heatran, and Drain Punch is going to be able to 2-it. It's not It's not going to 2-it kill the Heatran. But it's fine, because I'll be able to take one more Flamethrower, and maybe if I can get a crit, I'll be able to... He has Flash Cannon. He has, he has freaking Flash Cannon, dude. I I had Bus... I had Bulu, Slurpuff, and he'll go left, and he's like, Let me click Flamethrower on his Tabu Bulu. Like, like what? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Whatever. It's like they're slightly stronger, but whatever, dude. Whatever. No, no, no. No, no. No, Gator. Whatever. No. It's fine. It's whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I go out to Mogwai here. Mogwai can destroy this Heatran with Power Gem. So he's a coward, and he switches out. And he goes out to Klefki. Absolute coward play. Power Jam does absolutely nothing to this, but it's fine because I'm healing a little bit of grassy terrain recovery. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be awesome. All he's going to do is set up some spikes, and I'm just going to be able to Power Jam, knock out this Klefki, and be able to win this game with a Beast Boosted Scarf and a Hiligo. <coughs> Aquajit's going to do nothing because I know that he's uh, not banded because if he was banded, the crit 
knockoff would have killed my Uxie. Or done, would have done a lot more. He's gonna, he's gonna Psy Shock. Like, he has, he has Psy Shock on his cleft key. He, like, okay, must. He, he, he just, 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 not good at this game. Like, like, Uxie's gonna be able to win me this game. Like, after Mogwai goes down, because it has the perfect moveset. It has, it actually has Rest Aya Papa with Stealth Rock, so. He's not gonna be ready for it. So I'm just gonna go to my Uxie here and just be able to click rest and be able to pretty much just wall out the rest of his team because Azug really can't do much with my Barry gone and I actually have U-turn so I'm gonna U-turn out of the game. I actually don't have rest. This game is stupid. Like Gator is... no. He didn't deserve to win that game. He merely adopted darkness. I was born in it! Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't check out Gator. Don't check out Gator. He's not good. He got lucky. Hopefully he loses the rest of his games and he retires from the GBA as a loser. XD. Check out Gator. Leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed any other video of mine. Jeopardy coming soon. Jeopardy is actually coming soon, by the way. Jeopardy is actually coming soon. And peace.